Now joined by one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week, it's Leite Nyai of the men's indoor track and field team. Leite, you won the conference championship in the high jump, just short of a personal best. What would you like out of your performance this weekend? Um, this performance this weekend, um, we focus on having fun. That's something I've been struggling with all season. Instead of um, being in my head and getting all jittery, um, I just like said, hey, let's, let's, let's go out there and, and have some fun. That's what Coach Dana always says, and I took that to heart this weekend. And um, as you can see in the results, uh, it really worked out. It really worked out for the best, so um, I couldn't be any happier. You've had a very solid indoor season, pretty consistently close to, to your PR throughout the whole season. What, do you, what would you say has been your recipe for success all winter long? Um, like I said, it's, it's that um, factor of having fun. The, um, like every, every other meet, um, especially in the beginning of the season, I would just focus on um, the jump in general rather than um, just um, uh, putting it all out there on the field. Um, I had the t team to support me the whole time, so uh, that was a huge factor in all of it. Um, my, one of my best meets all, all year, I had the team supporting me the whole time, so um, I couldn't be um, more grateful for them to be there. So yeah, it was, it was a team effort to get me um, consistent the whole year. A solid way to end the indoor season with the conference championship. Outdoor season's really only just a couple of weeks away. What are you going to do over the next few months to make sure you have a, just a successful outdoor campaign? So rest. Uh, rest <laughs> is going to be very, very big for me because um, I'm currently suffering through shit splits right now. But um, we're going to get that rest in, and then after that, we're going to um, get back on the um, runway and um, start working at it all over again. So um, I'm hoping that um, Coach Dana helps me a lot with my technique because um, it's what I do inside the air that is really keeping me from that 205, 208 mark. So um, hopefully once I get that down, we see new heights and we can soar even higher. So I'm very, very excited about that for the um, outdoor season. Well, Leite, congrats on a great indoor season. Best of luck outdoor. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now joined by one of the GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week, it's Mary Sleisner of the women's basketball team. Mary, we have to start with Sunday's game. 36 points, a ODAC record, 29 rebounds. But that might not be the most surprising thing of the game. Let's talk about that final shot that you hit at the end of regulation. Just take us through the play and what went through your mind when it went in. Yeah, um, if you were watching the game, the possession before, we were down three with like four seconds to go. And I took the exact same shot from the exact same spot. And it was just a total brick. But it went out of bounds off of another girl's rebound, which gave us 0.7 seconds. We got into the huddle again. And we sort of, there was no established play, I'm going to be honest, going into that. Um, we knew they were obviously going to guard our shooters, Elka and Hannah, on the floor. So I was like, okay, I'm curling around them, I guess. And um, I just, the only thing I was thinking about, I just had to let it go early. Um, there was 0.7 seconds, and I think the big, my biggest fear was just, like, not even getting one off. So... I'm glad I did get it off. I have no idea how it got in. Sometimes I'm just, I just get lucky. And that was one of those, definitely one of those times. And then just the rest of the emotion of Sunday's game, not only to hit that shot, but then to come right into overtime. You guys jump out to a big lead. You, you walk away with your second straight conference championship. Just to have that whole moment and that just being kind of a highlight of the whole thing, just take us through the rest of the weekend, three games in three days, and winning another conference championship. I think as soon as... The refs told us the shot was good, and we got into the huddle. I think everybody knew we were going to win that game. Um, I mean, it was just unfair. We just went into overtime with just such, so much adrenaline. And then off the tip, they weren't guarding Hannah Malik on the, on the backside, so I was just like, why not hit it to her? And, of course, per usual, she put it in. And then we just we, we knew, sort of knew we had it. And just the whole season, I think, kind of reflected on that game. Um, we've been finishing really well this season as much as maybe we haven't been playing well in the beginning of the games. Um, we've definitely rounded ourselves out at the end, but yeah, every single person on this team are the most hardworking people in the world and it's just such a good opportunity and like I just love being around them every day and so even if it's just in practice and the behind the scenes work that nobody sees, like every single person is pushing everybody else, um, especially in the post. I get to see it every day when we do postcard breakdown. I get Ccat, I get Carol, I get Sim, I get Actor, I get Emma, I get all of them pushing me. So um, can't imagine anyone else I'd rather do it with. And this weekend, you get a chance to stay at home to play yeah. in the NCAA tournament. Vassar, the opponent, on Friday. Just what you're looking forward to this weekend, being able to play at home and try and rack up the first 
uh, NCAA tournament winning program history. That'd be great. Um, I just remember last year when we played Oshkosh, I had never, like, I think that was the best, one of the best teams. We definitely could have beat them, but, like, just to play a team that is in the ODAC and that isn't on this side of the country and, you know, to sort of branch out for once, that was such a cool opportunity. And I'm excited to be able to do that again with Vassar. We've been looking a little bit at them. Um, Scout is going to be more tomorrow, but it's just going to be fun. It's just this cool opportunity that we get to do. And I understand that it's postseason and not every team, only 64 of us get to do it. And so I hope that we do a good job seizing the moment, working together and do what we've been doing all season. She's Mary Slaysner of the women's basketball team of our generalsports.com athletes of the week. Mary, thanks for joining us and best of luck this weekend. Thank you.